Hi, how are you? I'm Raid Hayajna, assistant professor at Qatar University, history program. It's my pleasure to provide you with a short presentation titled by Sheikh Jassim of Qatar and his relationships with the Ottoman Empire in the period of 1871 to 1930. 1871 is the year when the Ottoman forces entered Qatar in the name of protection Qatar from external dangers, while 1913 was the year in which Sheikh Jassim died and his son Sheikh Abdullah assumed the power. The main topics of this presentation are who is Sheikh Jassim of Qatar, the entry of Ottomans into Qatar 1871, stages of this relationship between Sheikh Jassim and Ottomans, Ottomans interventions in Qatar, internal issues and the results of that. Who is Sheikh Jassim? Sheikh Jassim was and still known as the founder and leader of Qatar. He was a military leader and a mufti judge, as well as he was a poet. He fought many wars with neighbors and others to defend Qatar. According to most historians, Sheikh Jassim bin Mohammed bin Thani was born around 1827 and grew up in a city. It's a city in the north, in the north east of Qatar. And there he learned Quran and its sciences, as well as Sharia. Sheikh Jassim was strong in character and one of the most famous men of his time in the Arab Gulf region. In 1876, it was the beginning. He assumed the administration of government in Qatar alongside his old sick father. While on, the, on December 18, 1878, he succeeded his father in power with the support of the people of Qatar and was able to establish the foundations of national rule under the leadership of his family, al Thani, In the yearly of his rule, Sheikh Jassim directed his efforts to unite the people of Qatar by deeping national belonging and emphasizing the importance of harmony among the components of the people. He paid a great deal of interest in education, so he established the schools and built the mosques. He was interested in developing seaports, building ships, and promoting the pure trade. Until Qatar became one of the largest sources of peer in the region, and its trade relations with India and the coasts of East Africa were strengthened. On the external level, he was a strong supporter of Islamic Caliphate and one of the leaders in its defense, despite all the pressures he faced. The entry of Ottoman Empire into Qatar 1871. On the other hand, the Ottoman Empire was present in the Arabian Gulf region, but this presence didn't have an actual impact in the region because of its competition with Britain. But with the year 1871, and as a result of many reasons, the Ottomans arrived the Arabian Gulf region again with its intention to have an actual influence in the region. So the Ottomans finally reached the region 
including Qatar in 1871. Since the arrival of the Ottoman forces in Qatar, we can distinguish two types of relations between them and Sheikh Jassim. The first was friendship relationship stage that lasted between 1871 to 1881. Sorry, 1871 to 1887. The second of relationship of hostility between 1887 until 1913, means until the death of Sheikh Jassim. At the first stage, Sheikh Jassim had friendship relations with the Ottomans and remained the influential person in managing the country's affairs. One of the features of this was the close cooperation was that Sultan Abdel Hamid the second has presented in 1884 a book of honoring Sheikh Jassim for his loyalty to the Ottoman state for his good management of Qatar and his standing in the front of British ambitions. Sheikh Jassim believed that accepting the Ottoman protection would not affect his influence, in, but after a few years of accepting the Ottoman protection, the Ottomans began to take administrative measures that would reduce Jassim's influence and authority. And this moved the Ottomans' relationship with Sheikh Jassim into a new stage of hostility, which among its feature wares, Reducing independence of the sheikhs of Qatar. How is that? By the Ottomans began insisting that the sheikhs of Qatar should consult them in all decisions, which affected the extent of the independence of the sheikhs of Qatar. Two, the decision of the Ottomans to establish a customs collection department in Qatar in 1887. And this meant reducing the financial resources of the Emirates. What the Sheikh Jassim attempted to was. This is, these measures promoted Sheikh Jassim to reject them all, declaring that this would be followed by great rejection from the merchants. And he announced his relinquishing the title of Qa'im Maqam that the Ottomans granted him during the period of a friendship between them. In addition of all of this, the Ottomans took many other measures. For example, they established an Ottoman administration in 1887, established a cool store to supply the Ottoman ships with the fuel, increased the number of Ottoman soldiers in Doha to reach a thousand of soldiers, placed a steam port to stay in the port of Doha. They finally appointed Ottoman administrators for the ports of Doha and Zbara to collect customs from ships and impose fees and taxes on the pure trade. As a result, or as a natural result, of these Ottoman measures in Qatar. Sheikh Jassim rejected them all completely and the relations between him and the Ottomans take another stage. And the Ottomans began to take the side of complete hostility, which eventually he led to the Battle of Wajba in 1893. This is a brief and short presentation about Sheikh Jassim and his relationships with the Ottomans. Thank you.